Tonight on You Paid For It, despite the millions of extra security dollars being spent by by state, the latest report shows the number of incidents on the system going up. Investigator Ellie Davis shows us the numbers and talks to the man at the top. Metrolink is no stranger to trouble on the system. Its new CEO has been making security a focal point for years now, committing millions in extra dollars to get more police on the system and initiating a plan to try to make platforms safer. But despite that, the latest Metrolink Task Force incident report shows a number of incidents on the system increasing. Even though Bi-State Commissioner Derek Keith Cox is on the Bi-State board that runs Metrolink, he has been critical of what he calls the slow pace of security improvements. What do you think is the cause of these higher incidents? Well, I think we live in a pretty dangerous city, and I think that right now that sometimes people think that that's a place that they can go and get away with their crime. We've got to make it uncomfortable for the bad people to do their any kind of crime on the platform or on the train, anything to do with Metrolink. The Metrolink Task Force incident report has data from St. Louis City Police, St. Louis County Police, and the St. Clair County Sheriff's Department. By say it assembles the data it gets from those police departments and puts out the incident report. The latest one covers the second period of the year from April to June of this year. The number of incidents increased from 236 in the first quarter of the year to 249 in the second quarter. 58% of the incidents are conduct violations like curfew, loitering, disorderly conduct. 31% of the incidents are violent crimes like assault, homicide, robbery, and weapons violations. And 11% of the incidents were property crimes like arson, burglary, and theft. I caught up with Bi State President and CEO Talby Roach. So, with all the millions you guys have spent on security, why are the number of incidents going up? Well, actually, maybe even some of this is good news. It means that we're making some proactive policing. So, using those investments, that camera center, so that we're proactively going out and making the secure safer and making the system safer. Crime on Metrolink hits the system right in the bottom line. Bi State says the crime has a lot to do with the declining ridership. In its most recent incident report, Bi State says riders have dropped 3% compared to last year this time. Ridership is still way down, and to get that ridership back up, we gotta make it safe for the ordinary rider to feel that they can come on to Metrolink. You don't think they feel that way now? No, I don't. Everybody I talk to does not feel safe yet. Is the Metrolink system safe? It's absolutely safe. Took it this morning, lovely ride into downtown St. Louis. By State Commissioner Cox is still pushing to rearm security guards whose guns were taken from them years back. But CEO Roach is against that, insisting security is just fine having uniformed police officers with guns. Of course, I'll continue to keep you up on security at Metrolink that so many people depend on. After all, you paid for it.